careful down there, Inquisitor. The world is crawling with Tyranids. My main concern is not those Xenos, but another one in particular. Are you certain that the Harlequin will be here? I am, as much as one can be certain about Harlequins. But I know her, and I'm confident you'll meet her. It is surprisingly quiet at the moment. The Tyranids are hibernating, but trust me, your arrival will stir them up mightily. A precise and surgical strike is what I need now. Send me the coordinates of the Harlequin. There are three wet in the area. The Harlequin could be near any of them. I'm still perplexed by the ferociousness of the Tyranids without their high fleet. It is indeed remarkable. The Xenos recognize it, and they give a full scale invasion, and use the available biomass to infect as many planets as they could. Still, eventually they were purged by the Imperium. Not entirely. After the Tyranids had scattered their forces, isolated diaspores were able to survive eradication, mostly on a more backward approach. go about plans extending beyond contact with the enemy. The combat statistics of the border seem to confirm the defeat is out. Inquisitor, I have troubling news. Judging by the Augur reconnaissance, the entire area is showing Tyranid activity on an immense scale. Without that, the chances of success in an engagement with a Tyranid invasion on this scale are minuscule. May I make a proposal? We have already engaged the services of a certain Sakharadok, the pilot of the fearsome Imperial Knight called Crimson Wanderer, in cases just like this. I find your initiative commendable, Captain, but this knight could be anywhere in the sector. Now I'm beginning to see why the threat of the isolated Tyranid Diospories Led the Adeptus Mechanicus to order exterminators. Yes, that was a sad fate of this maiden world. The current situation proves, though, that even an exterminators might not be enough. What is more disturbing is that this proves that this particular hive mind acted like a highly intelligent being and used cold logic. We must talk, Harlequin. Seriously this time. I fought my way here. No, human. You have barely started fighting. The true battle only begins now. My tolerance for your riddles has not increased greatly since last time. Still, you are exactly where you need to be. Not far from here, upon the plains of despair, where the towers no longer sing laments, lies the ruin of the Shrine of the Prophecy. I've warned you about talking in riddles, haven't I? Your kind call it the Viserum Prophecy. That is where the corrupted wanderer, the one you call Uther Tiberius, followed the same visionary words. Tell me about the shrine. Why? You would not understand it. The shrine holds great power, which is why the devourers are drawn to it. I will lead you there once the path is clear. And if I refuse to play my part in your wicked theatrics? Then the nexus will open and its purple gaze will fall upon your falling empire, Inquisitor. You sound just as insane as I thought. However, I have an idea about that swarm. I will join you in the endless dance of death after you have walked through fire and flames.
have good news. The Free Blade Knight is awaiting deployment against the Tyranids, and Sir Ambrose Caradoc is currently reciting the prayers of sacred recalibration in the hangar. That zone is the epicenter of the infestation. It needs to be prepared. 